You know what's really annoying? This right here. Especially in the middle of the night when you have three kids and you're trying not to wake them up and you're trying to be quiet. You can see, if you take a close look, that these are really rusty and this is in a bathroom, so I'm sure that's why. I should probably look into some better ventilation, but in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is switch these out. And as a bonus for showing you how to replace hinges without taking the door off, I'm gonna use these squeak proof hinges. So I've read a bunch of reviews on these and they have been squeak proof for some people for over a year. These hinges also have a 10 year squeak free guarantee, which is nice. I just put them on another door in my house and so far so good. That's why I'm making this video so you can get this headache eliminated. These particular hinges, by the way, are three and a half inch and they have the five eighths radius round edge right here. And I'm replacing mine. You can obviously use these if you're doing a new door and you can mortise out whatever you need. I just got these ones because this is what came with the doors and every single hinge squeaks. So I'm testing them out little by little to make sure that they're good and then I'm gonna replace them all. All you should need for this if you're just replacing hinges is a Phillips screwdriver. You don't even need a drill really. And you don't have to take the door off. Just do one hinge at a time. If you only have two hinges, one on the top and one on the bottom, you're gonna need a second person or it will help to have a second person to hold the door while you take the hinge off. But if you have three, like I do, it's gonna be super easy. Just take one hinge off at a time. So I'll start with the door. Doesn't really matter. Could do either way. Just show you in real time how easy this is. And that is a long screw. That's the screw that goes into the stud. And the hinge is off. So we have a hinge and this is going to be installed up. This will be on the bottom. This is so you can pop that hinge out and take the door off if you need to. Opens like this, goes in just like this. And you might have to maneuver your door around a little bit, but in my case, I don't. And these hinges come with one inch screws, which is nice. I'm gonna put my long screw back in here too uh, just so I can get into the stud. I don't have to pre-drill because I already had screws in here. So I'm just gonna get these screws started before I tighten them all the way. Put my long screw in here. Now I can tighten them. And this one, I'm not gonna over tighten this. I just wanna snug it up. Just like that. You might have to adjust these if you have long screws too. Make sure the door is closing properly. But that's it. Now we can do the same thing with the other two. Middle hinge. But the reason I put that one in is because it's super long. I know that I got into a stud. Again, this goes up. You don't want to over tighten these and strip anything out. So once you feel it get tight, you can stop. And the bottom hinge. Okay, let's see if it is squeak proof. Well, I fixed it. And it's much better than 
that. And I have actually oiled these up several times, and no matter how much you do it, it just keeps squeaking. And I'm gonna pop one of these pins out just to show you how it's designed and why this is superior to this. By the way, this is how you would take one of these pins out. And you can see it has like a plastic lining here or a sleeve and compared to the standard factory hinge, this is all metal. So this rubbing on the hinge, which is also all metal, creates that squeak. So with this, you have plastic to kind of shield in here, and you can see in comparison, that pin is actually a lot smaller than this. That's because there's actually sleeves in here as well. So no metal actually touches another piece of metal that's moving. So that's why they don't squeak. So I'm gonna put a pin back in. I'm gonna lift the door up just to line it up like that. And then I just give it a little tap with my hammer. And that's also nice and tight. So you have sleeve here, sleeve here, and no squeaks. So if you needed to change out your hinges because they were old and nasty, rusty, painted, whatever the case, or especially if they squeaked and you didn't want to take the door off to do it, that's how you do it. It's that easy, and I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.